Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is officially my first day of filming since I've come back from the States. I have been to Disney, Orlando and Universal. I have some vlogs coming up as well so make sure you stick around for that if you're interested. I have been to Ulta. I have been gotten some things from the States so I'm gonna show you in this video. I'm gonna be testing out some makeup. I did put a palette poll on my Patreon. I do a palette poll every single Friday over on my Patreon. I gather all my palettes together and I get you guys from my Patreon to pick eyeshadow for me what to film up next. So the runners up were Be Perfect Carnival palette, which is this beautiful rainbow palette. The second runner up was the iHeart Revolution Chocolate Cherry. Has been a long time coming. I really want to use this at some point again. So the Chocolate Cherry draw with the Colourpop, which I will be using today because this is one of the items I got from Ulta over in the States. So this is the All Amphias palette. This is beautiful. So the Ulta Beauty I went to in Orlando was at West Sand Lake Road. There wasn't a lot of Colourpop options, but I was just so happy anyway to see Colourpop because this is a brand that we don't have in shops in the UK. So yeah, I went ahead and got this. And, and look how beautiful this is. I love the shades in here. And along with that, I did also pick up a cheek palette from Colourpop. So I'll be using that. It's got a bronzer, blush, and highlighter in here. I also picked up this. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I believe you can now get this on QVC now over in the UK, but this was such a massive thing. Uh, where we couldn't get in the UK so I'm finally getting myself around into testing that and I also got a Colourpop lippy pencil lip liner this is in the shade BFF I feel like this is a well-known nude shade for from Colourpop and their lip liners I'm just gonna do a get ready with me I'm also gonna do a catch up at the same time just tell you my time that I had in America I just want to use this time now just to reflect on things what good times I had what not so great times I had because not everything's gonna be great on holiday. But yeah, majority is positive and I cannot wait to share it with you. But yeah, I'm sorry I don't sound my normal self. I am getting over this illness. I can't believe I'm ill again in such a short amount of time. But yeah, if you're interested to see how these products perform today, make sure you can watch and hit subscribe. Also, if you wanna be involved in my palette polls over on my Patreon, I'll leave my Patreon link down in the description box so you can check that out if you want. But yeah, without further ado, Let's get on to the makeup. Look how cute these earrings are. I got these from Disney Magic Kingdom. So I'm going to start off with my Watermelon Dewy Drops by High Heart High Revolution. Fun fact, I took a full makeup bag to um, Florida and did I use it? to its potential, absolutely not. I hardly wore any makeup. There was one day that I pushed the boat and wore eyeliner. Because it's just so humid over there, I sweated it off by after lunchtime. So I just thought, you know what, there's no point. I had a free makeup holiday for two weeks, which felt really strange for me because I absolutely love playing with eyeshadow. I love, I love putting some eyeshadow on even if I'm going to the supermarket. So for me, for two weeks on holiday, for not to do that, it's a bit strange, but I was very distracted with everything that we had going on. We literally went to all the theme parks in Disney. We went to Magic Kingdom, Disney Hollywood Studios, Epcot. Um, my mind's gone blank. What was the other one? Animal Kingdom, Jesus. Four theme parks, so we did all them. And then we went to Universal, which was Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. So that's six theme parks all together. And then we went to SeaWorld and Space Kennedy Center. And three days that we had, we went back to the Disney parks, did some Disney hops. So it was very jam packed, let me just say. Very tiring, there was one day that we did 30,000 steps. I've never done that in a day before. I've just used the Vici Natural Blend Lip Balm. Um, just need to stuff it on my lips because they were quite dry. Okay, I am going to put some SPF on today because I'm going to head out, I'm going to walk my dog. Oh my god, I miss my dog so much on holiday. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lotion. Love this. This was the longest time I went without Kira. She stayed at a friend's house who they truly love Kira a bit. So it was very nice that she went to some people who she knew. It just put me at ease knowing that my Kira is at ease. So yeah, it was hard at first, but then because we had so much going on on holiday, it distracted me. However, once we'd done the Universal and Disney stuff, I did start to get homesick. So that's when 
the not so great feeling came in. This is the longest time I've been away, by the way. I've never done a two week holiday before anywhere, not even in the UK. I'm so sorry if this video is gonna be so long. I just feel like I need to talk because I haven't spoken in two weeks. Well, I've put videos out, but I haven't filmed. So I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys. So that's why this video is gonna be a long one. Sorry. So this is the palette I got from Colourpop. It's the All Amphious palette. Like I said, there wasn't many eyeshadow choices, palette wise. There wasn't many new stock in when I went in. So I just got what looked nice to me and this is what stood out to me. So yeah, it is super pretty and I just love how it shifts in the light there. I'm just gonna take my one of my Beauty Bay brushes. This is called a cut crease brush, but I would never do a cut crease with that brush. Have you seen how thick that is? Okay, so. Royal Affair. The holiday was amazing. It was literally like a different world out there. I've never traveled to the States before and I've never done Disney or anything like that. And I was amazed. The food was amazing. Tip, if you are going away with your boyfriend to Disney, Universal, whatever, share your food because the portion sizes over there is quite big. So we were unable to finish two diet cokes because they were absolutely huge so if you want to save a bit of money just share with your partner food wise um because you can save a lot we also did a lot of ubers over there we didn't rent a car or anything because it actually worked out cheaper to go the ubers and it, in comparison if you were to get a car you got to get a fuel you got to get your parking like parking costs so much at disney if you wanted to park if you rented a car so Lyft over there actually worked out cheaper than Uber. We don't have Lyft over here. But yeah, my favorite Disney park is Epcot, which is quite strange because Epcot does not have many rides in comparison to the other theme parks. My favorite ride at Epcot was Guardians of the Galaxy. That was amazing. I literally felt like I was surfboarding on that ride. It was truly amazing. Loved it. Loved the song with it and everything. I don't want to give too much away because if you are planning on to go, if you are planning going there, you've got to go on that ride. It's weird because it's not like a, a standard queue, it's like a virtual queue, you've got a virtual queue for it. But yeah, such a good experience that ride was and I just love how Epcot has all different countries in there. So it's basically, you got a lake and then you've got loads of different countries around the lake so you start off in mexico you get all the mexican theming all the mexican food mexican merch and then you hop to the next minute you're in germany next minute france uk so on i find it funny that in the uk they have loads of like those phone boxes <laughs> and they had like a uk shop and they had jammy jammy dobbers jammy jammy dodges in there and i'm just like is this what we are to UK? Seeing the German Dodgers? Um, yeah. No, it really, truly was really good. My least favourite park, and I feel like this might be a surprise to quite a lot of people because it is because it is some people's favourite park, is Animal Kingdom. I don't know. I just um, I just wasn't as wild at Animal Kingdom in comparison to the other parks. I don't know whether it's because it was the furthest park away from everything. Uh, we had, we did have to travel a bit further to get to Animal Kingdom. I don't know where I don't know whether that was because that was Molly's favourite park. Um, but yeah, Disney Springs, Magic Kingdom, Epcot were all Disney Holly Studios were very close to each other. But for Animal Kingdom, for some reason, it was a bit further back. The theme in at Disney is absolutely amazing. Like I've been to other theme parks in the UK and I have been to Disneyland Paris, but Walt Disney World is something else and. It's, it's amazing. I don't know what California is like or Tokyo. Right, I'm gonna blend this out with Feb's gem. Feb's gem. One part I did like about Animal Kingdom is the Pandora part. That was absolutely amazing because it actually felt like you were in Avatar Pandora. It was surreal. The one thing I didn't like of Pandora is the queue line. No joke, we queued three and a half hours in that Pandora ride. We queued up when it was daylight. We came off the ride and it was dark. Most of the queue line didn't have windows. Um, there was a part where you were underground and you're in like a lab. I don't know if anyone else has the same thing, but if I'm somewhere in a room with no windows and it's dark, 
I do get a bit like claustrophobic. I feel like I need I need a window. I need to see see out to the air. I don't know if anyone has that, but the ride was amazing. It, you basically it's a, it's a simulator and you're literally riding. I don't know what they're called an avatar. I was gonna say horses. It's definitely not horses. But you know those animals that fly and you gotta attach your tether to it. You basically fly in one of them and it's a simulator and you're like moving about and stuff it's the best simulator i've ever been on i've been on a lot of simulators trust me universal studios is so simulate heavy it's crazy that one at animal kingdom is my favorite simulator okay now i'm gonna move on to a shimmer so i'm thinking amulet i'm gonna wet this because i want to use it to its potential but that looks absolutely stunning. so i'm gonna wet that let's just see what it looks like without being wet i keep going for a mirror here Oh, it's even pretty without wetting it. I'm gonna wet it though still. I also like this shade here called Sunbird. Okay, so for the inner corner, I'm gonna use, I think I might use Brilliant. Oh yeah, that was a good pick. Okay, I am gonna put some eyeliner on. I'm gonna use my KVD tattoo liner. I'm gonna do this off camera because I feel like I've spoken too long. So off camera, I've just used the Simpsons of Revolution Treehouse of Horror primer. I'm gonna do my foundation dead quick. This is nearly running out. This is the Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I've got a shade Neutral Sand. Probably have to go up with the bottom now. Oh, and for my waterline, I did also use the XX Revolution Black Eyeliner Pencil. This is nearly all gone. I can't turn any more off. This is an eyeliner pencil I'm going to repurchase because I just really like how creamy it is. It doesn't scratch on the waterline because um, some pencils can be a bit too scratchy and makes your eyes water. But this one... It's really nice and creamy, so I'm gonna get that one again. But now it's time to try out this new concealer. This was like a beauty guru icon product back in the day. Uh, I just never hopped on board just because it was just so hard to get in the UK. Now I believe it's quite easy to get. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape. I've got it in the shade 12N, which is fair neutral. And this is the miniature size because I, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but if I do like it, God help me, because I have to try to find a way to buy it. But yeah, look how tiny it is. And also I like to try tiny things if I can, because it takes me ages to use up a product to have, if I have so many of the same product, different brands. So yeah, it's nice to have something tiny. <laughs> Let's just do that. I think the colour match is okay. God, if I like this now, I'm gonna have to try find it somewhere. And to blend this out, I'm just gonna use the same brush. This is my brush from Shein. It's just an angled packing brush. I have mentioned this brush in my favourite brushes video recently, so if you haven't checked that out and you wanna know, that lots of the video. Let's see how this blends. Ooh, it spreads. It spreads quite nice, that does. I think I like this <laughs> a lot. I haven't tried a good concealer in absolute ages. I really like this concealer. Oh my god. I was hoping that I wasn't gonna like it and I'm gonna have to buy it now. It's a good colour match as well, fair neutral, 12N. That adds coverage, it blends. You don't need a lot of product. That is so nice. I love the colour as well. It's not too yellow. It does dry down quite quick, so you probably would need to work a bit quick on it, but I like that. I think I need to get one. That is really rare for me. Um, there's a lot of concealers that I do like. For instance, I like the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I like the L'Oreal and Flower Wool, but I feel like the e.l.f. one was a bit of a grower. I liked the L'Oreal straight away, and this is one of those concealers that I do like straight away. It's not a grower. I instantly like this as soon as I put it on. My other concealers are the Revolution one, which again is a grower. It's not my favourite. And the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Again, it's a grower. It's not my favourite. It's not one of those products that I like straight away. Tarte Shape Tape is a product I like straight away. So yeah, happy with that. That is... That has put me in a really good mood because I've tried a lot of concealers and 
some of them I don't like straight away, but that, yeah. So my favorite Universal Park is definitely Islands of Adventure. I do like Universal Studios, but I do think it's a bit too simulator heavy. Um, they do have some rides there which are not simulators, like the Mummy ride, which I really do like. It was a coaster in the dark. It was such a good ride that was. The queue was a bit, mm, not much of the queue lie because there isn't much windows. Um, the worst ride of all the rides out of Dis- My nails just flew off. Great. My worst ride out of Disney Universal is definitely the Simpsons ride. The Simpsons ride at Universal Studios. If you get prone to motion sickness, I'm not too bad, but that ride, if you've got any sort of motion sickness, that ride is the worst ride for motion sickness. Dan didn't know he had motion sickness. He can deal with a lot of rides of like simulator, but even that ride got him queasy. Do not, I recommend you not to go on that ride. Uh, again, it, it just depends on any, anyone. Some people love that ride, but that ride knocked me out for like an hour or so. Literally, it made me feel sick. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this. So this is a ColourPop Just A Flush Cheek Palette. So you get a highlighter, bronzer, blush. Uh, you get two blushes in here actually, highlighter and a bronzer. I don't have many face palettes. The only face palette that I've got is the Beauty Bay First Light Palette, which I really do like as a face palette. It, this comes with me if I'm having to travel anywhere. Except I didn't bring it to Orlando with me, but if I'm going anywhere in the UK, that tends to come with me. This is what Just a Flush looks like. I really like the tones in here. I think this is the lightest one that I picked up. So yeah, I'm going to use this as a bronzer. To me, this is quite cool tone, so this could make a really nice contour shade for me. The one in the Beauty Bay is quite warm, so I do have to be light-handed with it. But with this, I feel like I can be quite heavy-handed. That's a nice shade. I like that. I can work with this because I don't have to be so light-handed. I hate having to be light-handed with, with products because I just like to go in, you know what I mean? But this is a good product to go in, if you know what I mean. That blends, it's not patchy, it's a right nice shade. It reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Back to Bronze shade. It reminds me a lot of that shade. If you can't get the Colourpop one, get the L'Oreal Back to Bronze because that is a good one. I really do like this one. I'm going to use these two blushes. I'm going to mix them together and see what how that will turn out. Okay, I like it. This palette, I don't have to be... Again, I can go in with it. It's not a pigmented blush, so you can go ham with this. Like with some blushes, I do need to be careful like the made by Mitchell blushes that beauty bay blush but this one I can just go in I kind of wish this was a bit more pigmented because I am having to double triple dip into it but yeah it's a nice flush blush it's nothing too out there it's very much of a soft blush I'd say soft blush to the cheeks not too heavy this is quite new actually I haven't showed it yet this is the well, it's new to me, it's been out for a while. This is the Benefit Pore Professional Super Setter. Um, I, I didn't take a setting spray with me, so I had to get one, so I used this. I actually used this when I wasn't wearing makeup. I don't know why, but yeah. Supposedly, this is meant to diminish, well, minimize the looking of pores. Helps lock on makeup, softens the look of pores, like I said. Feels weightless, it does feel weight, really weightless. Like. And the mist on this, it's like air. I love the feeling of that. However, I don't know what the durability is like. I haven't really tested that bit out, but I like how it sets my makeup. Let me know if you tried this, what are your thoughts on it. So I am gonna use this highlighter in the face palette. This highlighter is quite champagne-y, champagne-y, icy toned. So let's go in my fan brush. It looks more pigmented on my finger. Oh, but it definitely... Oh yeah, it... wow. <laughs> that definitely does something. <laughs> it is quite glittery, so if you're not a fan of glittery highlighters, um, you might not like this, might not get on with it. I do myself like a glitter highlighter. I just like having different textures on my face. Um, 
yeah I like it it definitely I don't know what the word I'm trying to think of it definitely doubles up that is not the word what I'm thinking of it it doesn't go on ham at first but once you put another layer on it's got it layering I think that's what I was trying to say it's been such a long time um yeah I like that as a highlighter I think it looks really nice once you put it on I would suggest just like blending it into the skin more because it can just look like it's sort of sitting on top of the skin but once you blend it out with a brush it just blends in with the skin a lot better I like that that's a nice nice tone that is and it goes really nice with the eye look like these sort of cool tones okay now on to this lip liner so this is the lippy pencil color pop again it's like a full face color pop this is uh this is in the shade bff they ha they had other bff shades like they had a bf bff2 which is a bit darker than this so this is just bff and it is a nude shade so it just looks like that Reason I got this is because I always saw Emma Fleming use this all the time on her videos. It's creamy, but it's not too creamy to the point where it's smearing. I really like that. That is a hit. My God. I can't call a poppy over here. I am gonna use a lip topper. I'm gonna use the Disney Mulan lip topper. I actually took this away with me. Did I wear it? No. <laughs> I actually took one of the Disney palettes from I Heart Revolution with me, the tangled one. Did I wear it? Actually, I wore it for one day and then it just it just wore off. The durability on that is not great. Tell you what I did wear and committed to every day was the Benefit 24-hour brow setter. This stay put. And also my brows, what I use, I did use my NYX Microbrow Pencil Shade Taupe and the NYX Lift and Snatch Shade Taupe. So I use both of those. We also went to SeaWorld as well. Um, I'm not a really massive fan of SeaWorld. It has a lot of controversy and I did not know about this until I was like reading stuff on the internet. So yeah, we went to SeaWorld. I watched the dolphin shows and stuff. I didn't really go on the rides as such because this was like this was like towards the end of the holiday and the last three days of the holiday I was starting to get ill I was starting to get a cold and a cough and on top of that I was really missing my dog at this point Kira like as soon as we'd done all the Disney and the Universal stuff that to me was like the end of the holiday because that was the main part of why we did the holiday. So as soon as we finished those two main things, uh, that's when I started getting homesick. And that's when the homesickness came in. I am such a home bird. I love being in the UK. I don't know, I sound boring as hell, but I don't think you can take the UK away from me. I don't think I'll go for the two weeks again because I know I've experienced it now and I feel like I don't need two weeks to do it but yeah two weeks is such a long time but it was such an amazing experience I loved everything about it and if you are thinking of going definitely do it because it's such a, a lovely opportunity to experience um I have always wanted to go ever since I was little I've always dreamt going to Disney saw it on the adverts um I just never got the opportunity so yeah it was just such an amazing time to go and I went in January is so amazing to go because we had really good weather the hottest it was was 28 and that's like our UK summertime let's be real um we had one day of rain that was it but we used that day to go to the Kennedy Space Centre anyway so it's mostly indoors um but yeah most of the time it was just really nice so I'm just gonna go in with the Game of Thrones mascara and then I'm gonna put some lashes on I don't know if I'm going to be able to put lashes on because it's been two weeks. But yeah, I do hope you enjoy the vlogs. It was quite hard to vlog. I'm not, I'm not like great as vlogger because I don't do it a lot. So it's quite hard to vlog something when you want to take it in at the same time. Like I found it quite difficult. I was vlogging and then I was also taking pictures. But at the same time, I was trying to take it in. So there's some moments where... I didn't vlog everything because I wanted to just take it all in, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's a lot of money, in it? And 
uh, yeah, I just hope my vlog, my vlogs will be okay for you. Um, there were some moments which I wish, oh, I wish I got that on vlog. Like there was a moment at Epcot where the fireworks display was on and I didn't vlog anything because I was just so wowed by it and I was just like, it's such a poor excuse in it. Um, and I didn't vlog it. Today's lashes, I'm gonna use the Wildcat lashes in the style Fairy. These are super cute. Haven't worn lashes in ages. So I genuinely feel like I forgot how to like, put them on. No joke, those lashes took about three hours. <laughs> um, so here's what my eyes are looking like. This palette is absolutely beautiful from Colourpop. It makes me want to get more from the brand. It's pigment, it's not patchy. The shimmers are really nice. Um, yeah, I'm just overall happy with this palette. The face palette was also really nice. I love the bronzer in this and the highlighter is really nice too. You just need to blend it a bit more with it. Wish the blush was a bit more pigmented, but, but it's still looking quite nice and soft. But I do think this is more for those softer type looks if you don't want a pigmented blush. So if you are that person that you don't like products that are overly too pigmented, this would be a great product for that because sometimes I don't like too pigmented things. Um, I hate being light-handed. This lip pencil is beautiful. I really want to try more lip planners from this brand, uh, Colourpop, because that was like the right density of creaminess. Like, it's not too, it's not over creamy that it's gonna smear over your lip line. It's the right amount, and I, I really like that. And the Tarte Shape Tape. When this runs out, I need a full size. <laughs> this is such a good concealer. Overall, so yeah, this is my overall look. I really like it. It's like a grunge spring purple. I'm sorry if this video was way too long. I feel like I just needed to sit back and just chat. Although I feel like I haven't chatted enough what I wanted to chat about in this video about my time in Florida, but hopefully you can see that in the vlogs when they come on. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video today. Do let me know what you think of this makeup look. And also if you want to take part in my palette polls over on my Patreon, I'll leave my Patreon down below so you can check that out but yeah but yeah if you do like this sort of content and you don't want to miss out then hit subscribe button down below i do appreciate it and yeah i hope you have a lovely day now it's time watching this and i shall see you in the next one bye